In this video, I'm going to explain an advanced spot DCA strategy, specifically a martingale-based DCA system. Let's start with DCA, dollar cost averaging. At its core, DCA is a way to reduce entry timing risk. Instead of buying an asset all at once at a single price, DCA spreads the capital across multiple entries. In this example, let's say you invest $8,000 all at once, right here at the beginning. Even though price moves up and down afterward, by the end of the period, the price comes back to around the same level. As you can see, the return on the lump sum investment is basically 0%. Now let's look at the DCA approach. Instead of investing $8,000 at once, you invest $1,000 every month. Sometimes you buy at higher prices, sometimes you buy at lower prices, but importantly, you buy more when price is low and less when price is high. Because of this, the average cost per unit ends up being lower than simply buying everything at the start. Even though the final price is the same, the DCA approach results in a positive return. In this example, lump sum investing ends with 0% return. DCA produces a positive return over the same period. This is the core strength of DCA. You don't need to perfectly time the bottom. You accept that price moves up and down and use that volatility to improve your average entry price. It's commonly used by long-term investors and traders who believe price will eventually move higher over time. What is Martingale? The Martingale system began in the 18th century in France. It came from probability games, especially coin toss betting. Back then, gamblers believed that if you doubled your bet after every loss, eventually you would win one round and that single win would recover all previous losses and still give you a small profit. To understand Martingale easily, let's start with a simple 50-50 coin toss game. You lose whenever it lands on tails, and every time you lose, you double your bet. First bet, $1. You have a 50% chance to win immediately. But if you lose, you're now down $1. Second bet, $2. Now, the chance of losing twice in a row is only 25%. That means your chance of eventually winning has already climbed to 75%. Third bet, $4. Losing three times in a row? That probability drops to 12.5%. Fourth bet, $8. Four consecutive losses happen just 6.25% of the time. Fifth bet, $16. And losing all five in a row? That's only 3.125%, meaning you now have a 96.875% chance of eventually hitting a win. This is the key idea behind Martingale. The probability of eventually getting a winning outcome increases as long as you can keep doubling. But at the same time, the required bet size grows exponentially, which is why traditional Martingale is risky when used without limits. Now let's take the original Martingale concept and translate it into trading. Level one, the first entry, smallest size. Level two, price drops, you add a larger safety order. Level three, price drops again, you add more size. Level four, you add even more at a deeper discount. Level five, larger orders at the lowest price levels. Just like in Martingale, the size increases each step, Unlike gambling where the odds don't change, in trading your average cost drops with each safety order. That means it becomes easier to exit and profit. You don't need a full rebound. A small bounce is enough to close the entire position. Now that we understand DCA and Martingale, let's put everything together. This strategy combines both concepts into a rule-based trading system. It begins with an initial base order, triggered by a technical signal. In this case, a Bollinger Band entry, activated when price rebounds from the lower band. The take profit is fixed. If price hits that target, the cycle ends and the trade closes. But if price moves against the position after the first entry, the strategy doesn't exit or panic. Instead, it waits for price to fall by a predefined percentage and then places a safety order. Each safety order is executed at a lower price level uses a larger position size than the previous one. This scaling effect is what makes the approach martingale-based. As each safety order is filled, 
the system continuously adjusts the average entry price downward. Because of this lower average cost, the strategy doesn't need a full trend reversal. Even a small bounce above the average price is enough to trigger the fixed take profit and exit the entire position. To control the behavior of the strategy and to manage risk, the system relies on several key parameters. Initial order size. This defines the exact USDT amount used for the very first entry. Safety order size. This sets the USDT amount for the first safety order. All additional safety orders scale from this base amount using the volume scale. Price deviation initial. The percentage drop required to trigger the first safety order. All later safety orders use scaled spacing based on the step scale. Maximum safety orders. The maximum number of safety orders allowed in one cycle. A strict limit to prevent excessive averaging down. Safety order. Volume scale, a multiplier that increases the size of each subsequent safety order, making later entries progressively larger. Safety order, step scale, a multiplier that increases the spacing between each additional safety order, allowing deeper entries to be placed farther apart. Take profit target percent, the percentage required above the average entry price to close the entire position in profit. Together, these parameters define the strategy's risk exposure capital allocation behavior, and how the system reacts as price moves. Now let's take these parameters and see how they behave in a real DCA sequence. In this example, the base order size is 50 USDT. The first safety order starts at 75 USDT. We allow up to five safety orders. The initial price deviation is 3%, and both the volume scale and step scale are set to 2.0. We begin with the base order at full price. That's the initial 50 USDT entry. If price drops 3%, the first safety order activates at 75 USDT. Now, because the step scale is 2, the next price deviation doubles. So the second safety order triggers not at another 3%, but at 6% total deviation. At the same time, the volume scale is also 2. So the second safety order doubles in size from 75 USDT to 150 USDT. If price continues downward, the step scale doubles again. So the next level triggers at 12%, and the volume scale doubles the order to 300 USDT. The fourth safety order arrives at 24%, with a size of 600 USDT, and the deepest level triggers at 48%, requiring a final purchase of 1,200 USDT. Altogether, this configuration can tolerate a maximum 48% drawdown, while continuously averaging down with increasing position sizes. And if all safety orders are filled, the total capital required for one complete trade cycle is roughly 2,400 USDT. This tells us exactly how much wallet balance is needed to safely run this setup without hitting capital limitations mid-trade. You can paste your optimized FREC trade parameters directly into the tool, and it instantly shows the required capital price deviation coverage, and full safety order structure. Now, with these parameters in place, a natural question comes up. Should the take profit target be 1%, 1.5%, or 2%? Instead of guessing, we let the data decide. We use FreckTrade's Hyperopt to test thousands of parameter combinations over three years of historical data, exposing the strategy to different market conditions. FreckTrade is an open-source crypto trading bot written in Python, and if you want to learn it step-by-step, step, the full course is linked below. After optimization, we apply the parameters to a one-year out-of-sample backtest. We run the strategy on Doge Spot using Binance, and you can also run it on Binance US depending on your region. The result shows a 45.9% total profit with a 100% win rate, while the market dropped 56.7% during the same period. Looking at the visual summary, you can see the strategy takes small, consistent profits and the equity curve stays smooth, which is exactly what we expect from a controlled DCA approach. If you'd like to try this strategy yourself, it's available for supporters. Links are below. So, in summary, this is a rule-based DCA and Martingale strategy designed to trade consistently by using FreckTrade proper optimization and clear risk controls we can turn a complex idea into a structured and repeatable system.
If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.